human life was established and meant to be whole. Since the first day of our existence, the intention was completeness. When God created Adam, God desired a oneness, a wholeness between him and man, a marital relationship in simplicity and purity. This oneness is an effortless living of man before God, in which we take in and live by nothing but the tree of life. We all know the story of the serpent tempting man to eat of the other tree, but the evil in this situation was not even about the temptation to disobey God. It was a craftiness to divide, to fragment, to complicate. Satan's nature is subtlety, sophistry, and guile. It is not openly displayed evil, but beautiful lies. He creates and manipulates the truth with a view to a system of error, convincing us that something else is true and worthy beyond the life of God. He says, did God really say? This something else may look similar, but it is not one and the same. In the New Testament, the Bible uses the word craftiness which in Greek is panorgia. This word comes from the roots pas, or every, and ergon, or deed. This every deed sounds beautiful, that every alternative, many possibilities, and countless reasonings are valid. In this fallacious system, there is no whole anymore, just fragments. In justifying such a system of error, Living such a fragmentary life is a tiresome, never-ending effort. Yet human beings were never meant to live a fragmented life. As believers, when we come back to our status quo of simplicity and purity, we find we can experience being whole. There is a hymn that says, Arise, the holy bargain strike, the fragment for the whole, all men and all events alike must serve the ransomed soul. All things are yours when you are his, and he and you are one. A boundless life in him there is, and kingdom yet to come. God's mathematics are nothing but one. There is not man and God, two separate entities, but simply two become one in this original divine marriage. The first verse of this same hymn begins, No mortal tongue can e'er describe the freedom of the soul. This is truly our experience of salvation, that when we return to oneness with our husband, our master, our Lord, there we find privilege and freedom to be whole once more. You are listening to highlights of Notes of Fellowship from the Church in Toledo. The full text of this article is available in the link included within this post. If you have enjoyed today's fellowship and would like to hear or read more, please visit us at www.thechurchintoledo.org. We would love to hear from you, dear brothers and sisters, and hope to use this audio format to share more of our daily church life experiences to build the body of Christ with you all.